want to give my reviews on my Indiana Pacers draft picks from uh, the NBA draft the other night. And I just wanted to talk about the players and hopefully, you know, who will make the cut. Obviously, we know uh, with 110% certainty that uh, Jairus Walker will make the cut. But we'll talk about all of the players we drafted right here on RC Talks. Let's go. So, um, we were able to... Oh, also, the Indiana Pacers signed Oscar uh, Tshabu to a two-way contract. So, um, we'll see how that works out since we were able to acquire him without needing to spend a draft pick on him. So, we picked up Jairus Walker... Um, after we traded Bilal Kolobali to the Washington Wizards um, to pick up Jairus Walker, who wasn't my initial first pick, and I probably was thinking a little bit out there when I was hoping that we would get Anthony Black, but, well, seems like the Magic wanted him all along, and even if he did drop to us, we probably wouldn't have taken him <laughs> as the idea was to get a forward. So, we take Jairus Walker. There was some a uh, couple of forts um, existing when we when we took Jairus Walker in the trade, and I was just happy that for one, and I know I may come to regret this, but I didn't want Bilal Kolobali on his team. He's just not, you know, he's just too raw. And then we already have Benedict Matherin, so there's no reason for us to. Um, Really, well, you know, really would have wanted to take on um, Bilal. So thankfully, we trade with Washington and we get Jarris Walker. So I'm I'm uh, I'm warming to Jarris Walker. Um, I'm seeing that he can be uh, aggressive, aggressive, tenacious, big, and you know he can do a lot of different things for us. So to get Jarris Walker is a really good thing in retrospect. Can't get too mad about it now, looking back at it. Um, he's athletic. He's a good banger. Um, he actually has good dribbling and shooting skills. Um, he also passes well. Hopefully, he'll become a, uh, a lockdown premier defender for us. And, you know, just have to be open-minded going into it. We don't always get the picks we want. I'm sure other individuals out there may have wanted someone outside of Jairus Walker, be it uh, Taylor Hendricks, um, be it uh, whoever the case may be. Um, people may have wanted Grady Dick to replace um, Buddy Hill. There's no telling, who, you know, who play, uh, uh, fans may want it. So, I mean, I think we got a really good guy in Jairus Walker, and we'll see how fast he's able to get acclimated to the pro game. Um, I think he can learn a lot from Al Turner. He can learn loads from Turner. I think uh, Jalen Smith, um, they can help each other out. Let's always remember that Jalen Smith is still a young guy, only 25. So, you know, I think there's a lot of uh, uh, lessons that he can learn and a lot of tutelage he can receive from from Turner and Jalen Smith. Um, and so I give Walker... I gotta give the grade a B, a B, a solid B. Yeah, no, no B minus, no B plus. I'm gonna give it a B. Um, I, I thought we made the best pick. Um, I could see, you know, Walker catching loss from Halliburton, um, and it will also help out uh, Benedict Matherin as well. Um, another young guy for him to grow with, as well as Tyrese. So yeah, I give it a B. Uh, my next pick, round. One pick twenty six, Ben Shepard out of Belmont. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you guys I know everything there is to know about Ben Shepard. I would have preferred Nick Smith Jr. Um, I'm sure there's others that would have as well, but you know, hey, we gotta let the front office make these calls. That's what they're that's what they're there for. Kevin Pritchard, you know, all the other uh, management team, Rick Carlisle. We gotta let those guys do their job, and obviously. You know, they didn't want to take Nick Smith Jr. 
But in Ben Shepard, I'm hearing he's a guy who shot 42% from the three-point range. He's a high-energy player. He never stops moving. Um, he's an efficient shooter, of course. A 21-year-old, um, he, he has limits to his game in terms of athletic ability. Um, but as I said, he can definitely shoot. Um, so that's definitely something to highlight. If he can uh, grow and evolve and become a better player over time, he, he could uh, be a great replacement for Buddy Hill. Uh, but I think it's going to take some time. And coming out of Belmont, um, you know, he's just going to have to really show himself. Um, I, like, I like the pickup, even though I think we're heavy on the guards. We're very heavy, very heavy on guards. But, you know, um, hey, if he, if he can um, do some things for us, I don't see why we why we can uh, sit here and knock him too much because he he could be a lights out shooter. I'm gonna give it a C plus. Um, that's what I'm gonna give the grade for Shepard C plus. Um, also, who else did we pick up? We had some more pickups. Okay, so also we picked up Isaiah Wong. Um, we we got him in the, uh, late in the second round. And I liked him a lot coming out of Miami. Um, I think he can be really uh, good for us if he can catch on for us. He might have to spend time in the G League. Um, he might have to have a great show in that, that summer league. Um, he may just have to, you know, really earn his spot. And if he can do that, as I said, we're very guard heavy. If he's able to do that, I have no problem with – with uh, well, as I as they want uh, being part of the any other Pacers future because he can do a little bit of everything on that court. Um, like I said, he was really good for the Hurricanes um, uh, this past NCAA tournament and throughout the course of the season. So for me, you know, hey, we're just gonna have to see what he can give us on his level. Um, I'm gonna say for the Wong pick, I'm gonna go. C minus. Um, I, I don't know if he'll stay, but if he does stay, hopefully, you know he'll be uh, he'll be really good for us down the line. And I believe that's all of the picks for us. For some reason, um, I keep popping with Mojave King, but I I know that Mojave uh, King or how how you say it. I'm sorry if I butchered it. Uh, he he's going to the Lakers, so I'm not sure. I know we didn't keep that pick. I know that Mojave King went to the Lakers, um, so I guess I guess we just had had three picks in this uh, draft. Yeah, it looks like we just had Jarius Walker, Ben Shepard, Isaiah Wong. Um, so, what do you guys think about the draft? Did you, do you guys like our picks? Um, Drop it in the comment section if you are an Indiana Pacers fan or if you're just a fan of the NBA or whoever your team is. What did you think about the Pacers pick? Um, you know, I, I think Jarris Walker is clearly going to be the best out of all three picks. But, you know, will he be a stud? Will he be a role player? Will he be a star? Will he be our um, next, like, Jermaine O'Neal, Paul George type player? Um we're just going to have to see, or is he just going to be like Isaiah Stewart, you know, Beef Stew in Detroit? Is he going to be like a Jason Maxill? I wonder. But I also know that the talent level on this kid is high, so we should see some promise develop pretty soon. Um, if he's going to show it, he will have great teammates to grow with in Tyrese uh, Halliburton, Benedict Matherin, Jalen Smith, as well as Andrew Nehmhart. Seems like we're going to keep Chris Duarte. So this is a young team, young nucleus growing. And, hey, we, we had a pretty good draft. And, um, hey, the future is still bright no matter what, right? As long as we got Tyrese Halliburton, the future is always going to be bright here. So with that being said, guys, thanks for watching. And also, if Miles Turner and Buddy Hill get moved, Hopefully, we will get back more promising pieces that can help out that are on the current young nucleus' timeline. 
But I think it'll come down to how we play. If we play, if we have a great season, I think I think we hold on to them a little bit longer. But if we if we underperform, I think they're gonna be out of the door. But that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'm gone. Peace.